Do you have a pre-built network that you want to set up EIGRP routing on? Then this video is going to be for you. I'm going to be showing you on this pre-built network that I've already created how you can set up EIGRP to communicate across the network. If you want to see the video on how to build this network, including setting up all the different parts and the EIGRP, I will link my full video in the description. If not, this was just going to show you how to do the EIGRP. So to start off with, I'm going to show you that this network doesn't actually work when you want to go outside of a router. So if I want to ping 192.168.1.11, this will work because we're within this same little network here. But if I try to ping PC2, it will fail because it cannot communicate across the different routers just yet. So, okay, so now with that, let's set up these routers. I'm going to start with router zero. I'm going to open up, go into CLI mode and type enable. Then I'm going to go into conf T to get into configuration mode. And now I'm going to set up the EIGRP. So I'm going to tell it router EIGRP one. So now I'm in the configuration for this and I need to tell it the networks. So the networks I need to tell it are my little one here for the switch, which is a one. So network 192.168.1.0. And then I need to tell it my two going to the two different routers, which is 10 and 12. So I'm gonna write network 10.0.0.0. And then I'm just gonna do the up arrow, go across and change the 10 to be 11 and press enter. Now I'm going to do exit, exit, write memory, exit. So now router zero is configured. I'm going to repeat this process on router one, CLI mode, enable conf T, router EIGRP one. Now the networks I need to tell it is the two one here. So network 192.168.2.0. And I need to tell it 10 and 11. So network 10.0.0.0, enter. And then I'm gonna go up and change that to be 11. And then I'm gonna do exit, exit, right, memory. Okay, and now I'm going to go to router two into CLI, enter, enable, conf T, router EIGRP1. And now I need to tell it the three ones. So network 192.168.3.0. And I need to tell it 11 and 12 because they're my two outgoing networks. So network 11.0.0.0, enter. And I'm gonna do the up arrow and go to 12, enter. And now I'm going to do exit, exit, write memory, exit. So now our network should work. So I'm going to start off by opening up PC0 again, coming into command prompt. And I'm going to try that above address again. Now the first one should fail because it's doing an ARP broadcast, but then it, yeah, should be successful because it now knows how to communicate across the network. So we can repeat this over here on this other side. We can go to PC4, 314. The first one should fail because it's doing the ARP broadcast and then it should work successfully. Yep, so it is working and communicating across. Now just to note that if I do this again, all of them will be successful because it doesn't have to do the ARP broadcast twice. Uh, you only have to do it once. Now we could go into simulation mode and see how this works. So I'm gonna come down to simulation I'm going to press a little envelope and I'm going to do PC0 and this time I'm going to do PC5 and I'm going to show you what happens the first time you go to a new a device within this mode. Interestingly, it went through router 0 and not router 1. Interesting. So it's decided that this path is better for it to go through than the other one. Um, who knows why? So let's try that again now. So that first time it goes through all the different things, trying to do the ARP broadcast, STP, uh, all those different things to understand the network. And once again, it has gone through router zero to do this communication. But it came back. 
So I wonder if there is a little bit of an error here in the configuration. So we can have a look. Oh yeah, there is. There you go. So I'm actually doing troubleshooting in real time in this video too. I put in 11 when it was meant to be 12. So I can fix that. I can come into enable conf T and I want to do router EIGRP1 and I'm going to do network 12.0.0.0.0 exit exit right to memory okay so now you actually see like if you do make mistakes you can generally pick it up when you try to do these sorts of things you wouldn't pick up a mistake like that when you're doing ping but in simulation mode you can so let's try that again we should see it go across yeah awesome so it now is doing the communication correctly. It is going across the network, no problem using the fastest route, not the slower route. But yeah, so that is how you can set up EIGRP routing within Cisco Packet Tracer and also how you can find issues if you make mistakes. Uh, which is very normal to make mistakes. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I do have the full video that shows the entire setup and I have um, static routing, rip routing and OSPF as well. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.